confused mind. Make sure it's properly protected with the helmet of salvation and that you're going to apply your thinking towards the kingdom building and kingdom of God. Number two, real quickly, set your priorities. Right. If you're going to start out of the block and run this race with the intent of finishing, not only finishing, but finishing first, make sure that you set your priorities. And that's why Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Don't go into 2021 grief. Yeah. Don't go into 2021 mourning and begging and planning to get stuff. And don't go running to God asking God for a new house and to pay your bills and all of that. God says if you want all of that added to you, the word of God says to seek him first. Make him prior, your priority. Somebody say, God shall be my priority. I'm going to keep my eyes and keep my mind on Christ. God is able to shift some things around in the spiritual atmosphere to line up for your benefit if you're seeking Him first. Don't seek the car. Don't seek the money. Don't seek the job. Don't seek the, seek the companionship. Seek God first. You place Him first in your life Guess what he's going to do? He's going to put you up at the top of the list to be able to bless you with the abundance of life. Yeah. Number three. Hunger and thirst for righteousness. You got to want this. Matthew 5 and 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Can I teach this for a minute? So they shall be filled. I see some of you all writing this down. Thanks and give God the glory that you want to remember the words of God. It says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You will walk in spiritual blessings to the, to the degree of your hunger and your thirst. You got to make yourself hungry. You got to make yourself thirsty. The level of your blessings depend upon how hungry you are. Are you hungry for the word? Are you going to sleep when the word is on? Are you going to relax when God is saying, I got work for you to do? You got to be hungry for the word of God. You got to be thirsty for living water. See, I love this word. He says, I'll fill you up, but I can only fill you up to the capacity of which you want to receive. If you don't have it there, if you don't want to be filled, you can't be filled. He says, I will fill you up to the brink. Yes. And always, always, the end result of kingdom living is always increased. Do I have anybody here this morning that would love to see increase in their life? Come on, increase in their life. Now, I don't want you raising your hand because you think money cometh now. Because money may not come now. So when I'm talking about increase, I'm talking about an increase in your spiritual power. I'm talking about increase so you have the power to push the enemy backwards. I'm talking about the power to be able to survive and to su be sustained. When all hell is breaking against you, I want to make sure you got the power to be able to stand when the whole world is against you. I'm talking about the power and the anointing that can rest upon your life when, when enemies and legions of enemies come against you. You got the power to be able to speak back. I'm talking about when the enemy comes against your children, when it comes against your spouse, that you got the power to stand and to intercede on behalf of your loved ones. I'm talking about the power. I'm talking about wisdom. The increase of the wisdom. Tell somebody you shouldn't make so many mistakes next year. If you're operating in the increase of the wisdom of God. The increase in influence. Whew. I 
want to tell somebody in this room that some of you all have been coasting in the name of Jesus. There's going to be increase. Not increase in your rent money. Not increase in your mortgage money. There shall be an increase in your praise. When you held back, when you didn't give him all your hand, the Holy Spirit said there's going to be with three or four of you all an increase in your praise. And you're going to know when you start praising him and you don't get half nothing and ain't nothing coming in your direction and you still going to find yourself praising him. That you won't praise him over stuff, you'll praise him over breath. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? There shall be an increase in your praise where you're not going to be ashamed, where you won't just praise him in the church house where the saints are, that you will praise them everywhere you go. There shall be, somebody say, increase in my praise. And then last, let me leave you here. Luke 6, 38. As you walk into 2021, and I'm declaring this over your life, you're going to walk in good measure. You're going to walk in good measure. Luke 6, 38 says, and it shall be given unto you good measure. Press down. Shaking together yeah. and running over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It shall be given to you yeah. in good measure. Yeah. Good measure when it's so much that it can't fit in. Yeah. So it has to be pressed. Yeah. God's going to bless you with some stuff. There's going to be an overflow that he has to press it into your life. Jesus teaches about the law of reciprocity. He teaches this. What you do for God, God's going to return it and do it back for you. I'm here today as a living witness. That you cannot be God given. You can't be my God given. That's why David said, My cup runneth over. I want the blessings of the Lord not to be seen in your cup, but to be seen in your saucer. The blessings of the Lord is going to put you in an overflow position. their foot on the block when they were getting ready to take off all they could remember is that when I get to the finish line I'm going to meet overflow face to face overflow in so many areas of your life think about what God has done what God is doing and we're what God is going to do. Yes, God. Well, we bless you this morning. We pray that you receive that word Amen. in the spirit and with it the The starting line. Let's start. Let's get going. 
let's go. The doors of the church is open and maybe somebody by way of their airwaves, they want to connect with our ministry. You want to be a part of what we're doing. We encourage you to either call our phone at 708-236-0800. Give us your name and your telephone number and we'll connect with you. Or go and download our church app. Go to get connected. Fill out the form. And then we'll contact you. If you want to be part of this body of Christ. As you can see, we're not short on word. Even though we're short on time. So if you'd like to give into our ministry, you can do that a number of ways. You can go to our website, our church app, or you can use dollar sign JT4421 on the cash app. You can give that way also. All right, let's give God a hand clap of praise in here to our audience out there. To our uh, airway. We love you. We bless your name. Know that our God is on your side. We serve an incredible God. We come to an incredible church. And all of us are living an incredible life. All right, you all be blessed. God bless. Tell everybody, I love you. God bless you. Amen.